here with Lydia. This is a celebrity Emmy award-winning chef that you and know and love. Tell you a little bit more about her through this. My culinary line, Lydia's Kitchen, is special because behind it is my 50 years of experience of cooking in the kitchen and all the things that I love in the kitchen. My grandparents had wheat fields, we made the flour, but between that golden wheat swayed beautiful red poppies. And I used to sneak in, collect them, make a beautiful bouquet and bring it for the family table for dinner. Get great ingredients, good equipment, and you have yourself a simple, good Italian meal. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. That means beckoning the whole family to the table for the great meal you have just prepared. She's adorable. How many of you have not been following her career on TV forever? She's been in the kitchen for 50 years and we are delighted. Chef Lydia is joining us today. I wanted to give you a couple highlights, a couple personal favorites of mine. One of them is her cookbook, which I will give you information. But this is it's incredible what Lydia has done with her nonstick, her cast iron. It is nonstick, but it's so much lighter than what we remember cast iron to be back when I, like Lydia, started cooking in the kitchen with your grandmother. Um, it's incredible quality, and this is an amazing buy. Check this out. To get a 10-inch non-stick cast iron skillet at $39.95, lowest price of the season. This is our Black Friday deal. We have it in the beautiful cobalt blue. Look at the gorgeous red, and then the stunning black. I mean, so classic. But that is a steal of a deal. We've got double pour spouts, a helper handle, integrated. It's an incredible quality piece. And then check this one out. This is the Dutch oven. I'm in love with this piece. I mean, there's so much. I love the slow braising process because, you know, it just helps everything just kind of fall apart as you're cooking it. This also is the nonstick, lightweight cast iron in a five-quart Dutch oven. Look at that gorgeous glass domed lid. We do have this, I believe, yes, all three colors. We have the red, cobalt and the black and here again check out this price the lowest price ever at $54.95 that's a steal there's a brand I know we know and we think it's pretty and it looks a lot like this and you can add about a number two at the front of the figures that what we're offering here at HSN so treat yourself to lighter weight cast iron at really great prices well, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started as I said and I know many of you know and adore chef Lydia this woman, it is my pleasure to introduce for the first time here at HSN. I am absolutely delighted to have you, Chef. Pleasure being with you, Kelly. I'm hoping to learn a little Italian along the way. No problem. Parliamo italiano. Parliamo italiano. Is that good? <laughs> okay, good start. Good start. Good start. Well, we'll but stick we're to cooking. eat and cook Italian. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Oh, it's just lovely to have you here. And your gorgeous ceramics, the glaze, the color, I mean, it just makes everybody happy. Isn't it? Because it looks beautiful. And you know, this, this baker here. Yes, this is where we're going to With the start. base or the top. With this baker, I'm going to make a four-course Italian meal right into okay. it. Okay, let me show you. I think this is the most cool thing ever. This is not only a serving tray, it also serves as a lid for your baker. Also, pick it up a minute. Mm -hmm. As a coaster, come here. When, you're, when you oh, take it out of the oven, awesome. it's a coaster. I love that. So you okay. can put this right in your tabletop. Yes, I yes, think yes. that's so cool. The colors, tell us the story about the motif with your design. You know, Poppy. Uh, now, I grew up in Italy, northeastern Italy. Uh, it was an area that was uh, worn, torn, and whatever we grandma food mm. was. Scarce. Available and not available, scarce. But mm -hmm. Grandma had everything. They had the, the corn field, the, the wheat field, and in the wheat field, the poppies, these beautiful red poppies. Oh. And I would go in the wheat field and collect the poppies. Oh. My grandpa wasn't always happy. Because he probably yeah, made but. a track through his, his field. My grandfather would have done the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love that story. They're so pretty. So I'm going to show you just the first course is, of course, an antipasto. And you can use mm. the lid just to make an antipasto. An antipasto is easy for an Italian meal because you can buy it, you can make some vegetable salads, but just like that. And then, of course, some salami we'll put right here. Oops. Oh, my goodness. I mean, just the display is so pretty uh, with the bright 
colors and that's got a, a nice deep, like a little bit of a, it's it's not a flat tray is what I'm trying to say. It's got a little bit of a dip. Yeah. Um, so yeah, putting things out like that, I'm gonna have to jump in on that pursuit though. That looks amazing. So this is a customer pick. This, and, and feel free to read the reviews. It is only $39.95. This is another Black Friday deal price. What a show as we kind of round out the year. And not only are these great for you and your kitchen, they're such great gifts to give. Okay. I did mention your cookbook and I wanna make sure you guys know it's still here, it's signed, it's in stock and it's available to you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous cookbook. And, and look, these are the spoon holders also. Go ahead, the book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spoon holders? I'll show. Okay. Oh my gosh, the pictures are amazing. Didn't okay. you write this with your daughter? With my daughter. Yeah. It's my 16th book. Is and it really? it's about, you know, uh, the viewers, you guys out there always want to know, what do you cook at home? What, do, what, your, what does your family like? And here are the favorite recipes Ooh. of my family. And I share them with you. Simple, straightforward, just like you see here. I love how it even starts. No one knows food or values the family table like Lydia. So. I love it because it is really an important part of our lives and all the memories that we ha you have and I have from our grandmothers right. teaching us what we know at this point in our kitchens. You know a whole lot more than me, though. Okay. So, the spoon holder, olive oh. holder, and everything. So look at this a beautiful baked pasta. You Isn't need it? an antipasto. You go to a baked pasta, and that's simple. This, and you see the coaster. It becomes as a coaster. You bring it to the table, a little bit of cheese, and let them let everybody kind of just dig in. And then the oh, turkey. Oh, I love it. Yes, it's roasted big enough. turkey, chicken, or whatever. And the vegetables. You can roast the vegetables. Here I have roasted onions. Look at this, Kali. Mm. Just you roast them simply, mm. caramelize nicely, mm -hmm. just like that. And you toss them. And they could be part of the appetizer or they could be part of the main course, just like that. Mm, they and turn you know, so sweet, I don't wash they? my hands. I like, to get, <laughs> I like to touch the food. I always say, <laughs> I'll put a little bit of vinegar in here. And here is, I have a question for you. Tell me. You can see there's like a little, not divots, but there's just a, you'll see on the bottom of this particular baker. I think you mentioned that this is to help with airflow in the cooking it process. It is, so it doesn't stick. What's wonderful about this is, you know, look at the enamel, the, 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 the paint, and these kind of little air pockets. Yeah. So when, when you bake, it slides off. The lasagna doesn't stick to the bottom or whatever. And look at this, easy cleaning, yeah. you know, just like that, and voila. Now. And how cool to be able to take this straight from the oven to the table and serve right out uh, of it. And you know what? As people talk and whatever, it stays nice and hot at the table. Very, very important uh, and great point that is. Gosh. So, Beautiful, we, absolutely beautiful. This, these are the onions you're picking. You can have some onions. I want to give them a tip. Uh, you know, I know that we're we're here, but uh, a little tip. You know what I glaze the turkey with? With a little bit of balsamic, balsamic reduction. Balsamic, really? Yeah, just like that. You glaze it nice and easy. I'll show you just how it goes. And you glaze it in, so balsamic reduction is the balsamic, the big bottles. Uh -huh. You reduce it with some honey and rosemary or whatever. Okay. The, you reduce it to this kind of consistency and then you brush your turkey about half an hour before it is finished. Well, it sure adds a nice goldenness, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And here I have the onions. These are the vegetables as a salad. And of course, the dessert. We even, <laughs> we even go to the dessert because, you know, I love fruit as dessert and I love baked fruit, cooked fruit or whatever. And, and this, and this pan is just beautiful. And look, mm. you Thank put you, ice cream, and let me. Pears, I'll put you. Cherries. Cherries, mm. pe the pears, cranberries for the holidays. Mm, that's so pretty. Nice and warm. Warm with ice cream. You know, we, we all like, let me show you just how it flows on, on, your, on your. Oh, that is pretty. Isn't Very that beautiful? Festive. And you can serve it warm. I like it warm. I like my fruit warm on the ice cream. Oh, these recipes, Lydia. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Leek and ricotta tart. Oh, that sounds so delicious. Focaccia di Reco. What's Reco? Reco is a city in Liguria. Oh, and is it's it? A, it's a focaccia that was kind of initiated there. Mm, I love it. Do you, 
I tend to do more northern or southern Italian cooking? You know, Italy has 20 regions. 20. I come from northeast. Okay. But every region has its uniqueness, its beauty, its sort of the topography is different, the climate is different, and the products are different. So uh, there's a lot to choose there from. There is. And, and I was in Italy last summer, and I went to a couple of those, you know, the, the pottery stores and the places that you want to spend, like, a fortune to send, you know, ship things home. I feel like this is what I saw there. Yeah. Well, because, you know, and this is... Freezer proof, oven proof, dishwasher proof. Good point. You can just all over the kitchen. It serves you well. And I just and it's love beautiful. it. It's so pretty. It's so happy. The colors are the bright red poppy. And then that gorgeous blue that you've incorporated with the band of yellow. It's just it's just an explosion of happiness. Yeah, you know what, what, what I love is because when we create these things, I get involved. I get very involved. It's 50 years I'm cooking, so it's my experience. What do I like? And, you know, uh, yes, beautiful restaurants and whatever, but when you cook at home, you want simplicity, but you want beauty too. And this will bring beauty right to the table and be very efficient and practical in I, the cooking. Yes, a little bit, one less dish to wash, perhaps, or pot and pan. I love the pictures that you've incorporated into your cookbook. Look at this one. Yeah. Is this your the, grandma's? Uh, that's the grandma. That's already in America when we were already came here. Okay. That's in Pennsylvania. Oh. It's a long found family we had. They, they were immigrants and we came. So, you know, I came here, I was 12 years old. You were 12 when you yeah. got here, yeah. wow. And this, by the way, is the cookbook that is signed. Do you, are you, um, how does it work with your show? Are you, do you record ahead of time and then the season uh, plays do. out? It, to, to, to do a cookbook like that, it takes me two years. And then I, I use, and then, and then the book, the recipes from the book, I do online on television when I, when I cook. So this, the recipes here will last me for two years of shows and two years. So every two years, like the whole thing gets renewed. Redone, and right. this is your 16th, you said. Yes, My yes. goodness. But you know, uh, what, oh. what, is, what, what I get from my viewers and from the users is the simplicity of the recipes and the deliciousness. It doesn't have to be complicated. You no. don't have to spend eight hours a day in the kitchen to make beautiful food, make it, I mean, look at the simplicity of that gorgeous this, this fruit. You, and it's, fruit for the season, you know, it, in it's, the spring it, it'll be different. It's pears. pears. It's uh, uh, apricot jam, a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of uh, sweet wine, uh, a vanilla, and you put it in the oven and you let it sort of cook and it's done. Dessert is done. So folks, if you're just tuning in, I want to make sure I say, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite cheeses and I love that prosciutto and that mortadella and those <laughs> olives and that cheese. I love this whole thing. This is so me. Um, this is an amazing baker. It's a full, it's an eight by 13. Is that what? Yeah. I'm showing, where do I put my card? Here it is. <laughs> yes. Yes, so yes, nine by 13. Um, this is the tray that serves as a lid, as a serving tray and or a trivet. So when you're bringing your lasagna, for example, your gorgeous turkey to the table, you're not gonna have to worry about a beautiful, you know, wooden tabletop getting marred. So continue ordering. This is again, lowest price we've done. It's a, a Black Friday price of $39.95. That's a very small price to pay. So enjoy it, it is also on three flex. Don't forget also, if you get to $75 on your purchases, you know you're qualified for free shipping, right? For the whole rest of the day. So enjoy the prices, enjoy the beauty. We're gonna move into a very limited piece. This one has been a huge hit, that beautiful little stoneware container. Right here. With the sealed lid, and that's a bamboo top, isn't it? Yes, yes, a bamboo top, it's sealed, and this container is so practical. You can use it for cheese, for salt, for sweets, for presentation, even the little plants, certainly for the herbs. And here I have the, uh, the, the, the cheese. So you can use it to store beans, it's to big. store rice. Yeah. I thought it, on, online it looks smaller than it is. This is actually like a six inch um, bowl, beautiful for anything to display, you know, your chocolates like this, as you mentioned, Lydia, to put your fresh maybe rosemary. I heard you say you'd like to put your uh, grow your basil on your kitchen sill. Absolutely. Look at this, even for decoration for the Christmas table, you know? Do you have any tips on how to grow basil? I've just had the hardest time. <laughs> Don't overwater it. Don't overwater it. And, and you know what? When you pick the basil, there's the tip. Yes. And the tip goes into flour. Yes. So whenever you pick the basil, you have to always pick the tip, tip so it doesn't go into flour, okay. so it continues to grow leaves. Got it. Because if you read that tip, okay. it does. And then it turns bitter. Um, okay, a couple of things. 
Oh, this is so fun. There's a table runner in this same beautiful motif. It's right here on our display. This is a gorgeous piece and it's double-sided. So it's nice to have something festive to put out indoors or outdoors, holiday or not. I feel like this could really be perfect during the holidays, but any time of the year for that matter. Oh, those are the skillets that we've yeah. got coming up shortly, the nonstick. So I do want to quickly mention there is also a spoon rest. There's so many things displayed everywhere. Here we go. There it is. I Thank you. I told you the olives in there. You That's ice. where... I love and it. And do you know what I do with this also? I put the olives and I put an empty one. They can put the pits here. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have to get creative in the kitchen, you know? Uh, don't be afraid, you know, use your creativity, your sort of uh, intuition. It works. I am with you. This is $9.95 if you want to get a couple of these. Spoon rest, um, you know, put your little olives, olive holder, however you'd like to use that uh, as a little serving dish. So that, by the way, this container, this is down, we have less than 300 of these to go around. So just giving you a heads up, that is half price. This gorgeous countertop stoneware, and it is beautiful all the way around. Glazed inside and out, right, Chef? Absolutely. Be it's, you beautiful. Know, again, dishwasher, <coughs> oven, available all over. You can put it, you can use it all over the kitchen. I think this is just the most beautiful thing. And I do want to show you this. It's not just a top, it's a lid with a silicone ring around it, so it does, if you wanted to store sugar or flour in yes. here. Cheese. It, cheese. Yes, you seal it. Uh, things that you don't want to oxidize also are, are good. Beans. beans. You can put, yeah, you can put cooked beans and legumes in the refrigerator or dry ones out of the refrigerator. There so you go. it's either way. So Storage. Yeah. Storage, exactly, but beautiful storage. It doesn't have to be something just that you're gonna shove in the kitchen, into the ki and into the refrigerator. It can definitely stay out. Okay. It's a stunning piece. All right, let's talk about these gorgeous skin uh, skillets. 10 it's inch skillets at $39.95. They're stunning. That's, we've got black, we've got the red, and we've got the cobalt. So, you can sear, you can make a frittata. I can braise all in the skillet, and it's nonstick. The heat is even all over. That's what I like about cast iron. And that's what I like about this. And uh, you see a nice handle. I set so you can, you can pick it up, carry it. You know, sometimes you pick up a cast iron skillet full of things and your wrist goes. There's so. So I am very practical because, you know, 50 years in the kitchen, your wrist can go. <laughs> okay. So let me show you also, you see, I, I seared it. Mm. The steak is just beautiful. Just right, and I'm gonna make the sauce right in here. Right in here. Look at I'm gonna collect all of that, mm. and you know what I'm gonna put? I'm gonna put some shallots, some gar uh, oil. So when you saute something in the skillet or sear, those little brown kind of- The bits. That is the flavor. It Let's put so some shallots yummy. in here. Okay, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna make this the sauce right in here. I have some mushrooms also, which I kind of, look at, look at this, how this, let me, let me show you how this, look, it's clean, it's perfectly clean, and ready to go. So I'm gonna just take it out of the, these are, it's crazy interesting how you've figured out how to make this, what I read is 28.7% lighter than traditional nonstick or cast iron. I mean, cast iron was great in its day. It looks like we put this one on the, on the stove, which is fine. But I love the fact that it is not hard to work with. I still have my grandmother's cast iron. I keep it for sentimental reasons because it was hers and I loved and adored her. But it's really hard to work with. I don't know how she did it. it you know, you need to uh, maintain it. It's heavy. Uh, you know, I love the, the effect of cast iron and that is that it spreads even heat all over. And this is what this pan exactly does, but at so much less weight. It's really good. And then that whole nonstick experience on the inside, gorgeous glazed uh, experience on the outside. With Notice that helper handle, that is such a key part of the, you know, if it is heavy for you, you've got the ability to use two hands to pip, pull it out of the oven or stove top, every kind of range top, is that right? I mean, you can use it anywhere, right? Anywhere. Oven, open fire, electric. Open fire. Yes, yes. Everything that you can, it will work every place. Even outside, if you're grilling something and you're bringing something from the inside in the skillet, 
You put it on the grill to keep it. So look at this sauce, how wonderful it is. Nice, in a few minutes, the heat is here. I'm gonna make a frittata right here. So I have the vegetables sauteing with a little bit of oil, and you can put any vegetables you want. I hear, here I have some whisk eggs. Uh -huh. I seasoned it just for the end. Put it right are in. are one of my favorite things. They're so, so easy and they're so good. Yes, and you can do anything. You can do it vegetable, you can put legumes in there, you can put sausages, you can put proteins, you can do anything you want. Oh, look at how beautiful. Look, look at this. Thank you. Look so at this. the before and the after. Ah, there you go. So one, one tip about the frittata, when you pour the egg in, just shake it a little bit, but don't go in and mix don't it, mess up it up. Okay. Because you won't get that, that kind of nice finish. So let me just pull so it fluffy. out for you. Look, look at this. Just, it slides right out. Take a look at this. Oh, that's so And, and look at this. And look at the pan. Isn't it? It's literally, I mean, wipe clean, it. Clean, ready. Wipe it clean. Okay. Just like that. Ready, a little bit of water, and it's done. Okay. So the, the Next. other thing I love Lydia, about cast iron is that it heats, the, the side walls heat all the way up the side. You can see even on, the, on this chicken that you're making. But that's the idea of cast iron. Exactly. So you can see the bubbles all the way around the edges. It's all the way up the side walls, and it stays hot so much longer. So I'm going to, you see the sauce, it's nice and dense, the mushrooms sauteed, and I'm gonna just pour it right over the steak, and you can do it individually, or when you do it for the family, like that. Just bring the whole thing. <laughs> I love the idea of just bringing the vessel to the table and letting people help themselves, but that is a gorgeous plate Again, of goodness. Look at this clean. Nothing. Uh, Nothing yeah. sticks. Nothing sticks. So with your cast iron, you don't have to season it or anything like that? No, that... no. Uh, you don't have to season it. Uh, just clean it up with the, with the rag after you finish using it. And it, you can keep this braise, as you say, frittata, a nice steak, or, mamma mia, you know, I like clean, clean dishes. <laughs> mamma mia, I love it. It just comes out, just naturally. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the cookbook is on the screen now, very popular, as it always is, 845-143, over 100 family recipes and some favorites that you're sharing with everybody. Yeah, these are our family, four generations. My mother's, my grandmother's, ours, the, my children and my kids. So oh now, my goodness. not only do we do all of this braising and all that, we can even bake in this. That's great, I forgot so, about that. Oh, well, I'll remind you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here is the mm -hmm. skillet with focaccia. I let the focaccia mm. kind of raise in, put a little bit of oil, and you want the focaccia, you see these bubbles? This is, this is when, you, when, you, uh, when you go right in there and you make the, the, the indentations, if you will. You let it rise a little bit, and we're gonna make a sweet focaccia here. A How do you like that? A sweet focaccia, that yes. sounds delicious. Yes, I'm is, gonna put some, tell me. What did you, is this the, the dough cutting? This is, is that? The, absolutely, the okay. dough cutter that you go in and you cut the dough, you scrape when, I, when, you, when you need it and all of that. So let me put the, race, the, the grapes in. You can do blueberries, you can do raspberries, you can do whatever, some. Rosemary, some ricotta. Mmm, I am so excited to try this. Hopefully there's gonna be one ready for me to taste, yay. Um, incidentally, <laughs> I love this piece, this part of the three-piece dough cutter. I love the um, scraper. Absolutely. Because you can take your herbs, this is what I do. I scrape up my, all my herbs and right. just put it into the pot. Right, and also you have the plastic ones, you know, if you have a nonstick or whatever, you don't want to scratch Good anything. Good point. Absolutely. That's and a this, great three-piece set and on this sale. Is, and this is actually to cut the dough. You know, if I you see. go in, to cut the dough. Okay. So it's very practical. You can store it like this, very three cool. together. You put, let's finish the focaccia here. A little bit of sugar on top. And we mm, have mm, mm. this one from you. You'll take that one from me, we'll put that in the oven, and you'll see what will come out. And I wonder where there's a knife, because I'd love to try this little frittata I right have here. everything, absolutely. <laughs> no, everything Cal looks and smells so good. It's like, honestly, but I you think see, we all know when you watch Lydia on, her, on your show, I think you're in your 11th season. 
No, no I've, I've been 25 years. This year is 25 years that I'm on television. What did I read? You're television. starting your 11th season on well, something. Well, the, because the theme is a little different, but I'm 25 years on. That's amazing. So, oh, look, nice. Look, the focaccia. Now, this. You don't have to go. You were looking for a knife? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, perfect. There you go. Lydia. Let me. Okay, I will be, thank you. Oh, and these are the beautiful bowls uh, okay. from your collection. Oh, thank you. Good. Gosh, ask me, you shall receive when Lydia's in the kitchen. You're cluttering my, I my am, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'll get out of your way and I'll just start <laughs> just eating and shut up. <laughs> but, I, but I do want you to see the focaccia. You can only look. imagine what she's like in the kitchen with her real family. Look, look, <laughs> let me tell you, you know, being a chef in a, in a restaurant, <laughs> you need to have some discipline, <laughs> you know? And, mm -hmm. uh, right, <laughs> sir? We need discipline in the kitchen, <laughs> otherwise everybody. So here we are, this is hot out of the oven. Look at this. And I love this. I've never had a sweet focaccia. Look. Like a dessert. I want to show you this. Mm-hmm. And again, do you see it? You see it? It's like yeah. new. So, Wipe out the oil. Let me let me just a little bit of butter. You could, you can't, you and this here. Again, you can have a knife or you can cut just with this. This is very practical in the kitchen. Mm. So the, the skillets that we're talking about right now, we have three colors available. Andre, which one is the most limited? I, I just hate for people to miss out on a favorite color because yeah, our kitchens are so important to be able to work within our same we, you know, theme. We, we have red, we have blue, Isn't that gorgeous? we have black. That's strong enamel on the outside, so it's easy to clean. All you do is wipe it out and you clean the inside. You saw how easy it is. And the outside, the enamel really keeps, and it's always good looking. And when you bring it, it to the table, gorgeous. it just looks great. This blue is flying. It's very popular. This is the hot color of the day. The red is stunning. The black is absolutely, st I mean, how much more beautiful can something be? This is the kind of pan you're gonna wanna, if you can do the ceiling rack in your kitchen to display because they're just so pretty, even when you're not using them. But when you're using them, it could be on the stove, it can be in the oven, it could be on a fire, it could be on a grill, and then you bring it right to the table to serve right out of it. That's what I would do all day long with this. And look at this chicken cacciatore, oh. how well. And you know, it, you, you brown it first, you make everything in this pan. You don't need to change anything. Uh, you brown the chicken, then you soak your vegetables, then you season it, you put the tomato and you let it simmer. And what's good is you can make this in advance and just leave it in this pan. We have a cover for it too. Uh, there's a nice cover around someplace. Nice. Oh, great. Uh, oh, no? Not this one. Oh, no, oh, not the, this the one. The lid is for the Dutch oven coming up. Oh, but you could use. That's true. That's a great point. <laughs> I'm with you all yeah, day long. You can long. cross. You know, in the kitchen, we, 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 do, we do that. Well, you know, when we talked before the show, Lydia and I, and I was sharing personal stories of what my grandmother used to do in her kitchen with very, very little. I mean, she had no fancy ovens or, you know, microwaves. She didn't have anything fancy, but everything was, as you cook, very simple, very delicious. The colors make it so much prettier to present. And it just makes that whole dining experience just so special, so memorable. Absolutely. And you know, these things, they're long lasting. They become heirlooms. The, the cast iron, you're absolutely right. Okay. I mean, when you look think at, about Look at this, how this flows. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Tell me what it makes it a cacciatore. Is it um, the, the tomato or the peppers? The or cacciatore means hunter style. Hunter style. So it's, you know, they go out, they used to, because a lot of the game, the pheasants and all of that was made cacciatore style. Would you like a little, little taste? Sure, I'd okay. love some. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just standing here with my fork. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be more obvious than that. Thank Eccola. you. And so these this hunters, Basically, it was wild hare and pheasants and whatever. But, you know, chicken is very, uh, mm -hmm. in today's world, uh, chicken is the way to do it. And the cacciatore put in, the, the, when they brought it home, whatever they had. They had onions, they had peppers, they had mushrooms, a little tomato, nice and brown, and they had their cacciatore. So this is, is, you You can make chicken cacciatore, you can make pork chop cacciatore. You can, you know, just change from one to the other, no problem. 
What do you guys do for the holidays? We eat. <laughs> We, we cook, we cook and we eat. This is exactly what I do, uh, you know, uh, and I love it. I mean, you know, in town, uh, in the in the kitchen, cooking with the family, bring it to the table. Uh, this, you know, and this identifies Lydia. So, you know, if you're out there, if you're getting this and whatever, because I get a lot of emails and people tell me, Lydia, last night we cooked from your book and that mm. we cooked every recipe and Lydia was with us. Yes, I am with you. I am with you in aromas and smells and in, 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 uh, in flavor. And if you have my, my products now, I'm in there with colors and, uh, and, and, and pots and pans it's and just, dishes. It makes everything that much better. So. Thank you for your orders on the 10 inch skillet. These are the most incredible cast iron with nonstick and much lighter than my grandmother's uh, cast iron certainly was back in the day. This is a customer pick as well. We still have the black, the cobalt, and the red. Item is 813-678. And just so you know, that's a Black Friday deal price. Once this year comes to an end, you know the Black Friday prices go away, right? <laughs> so just treat yourself while the prices are so low and so good, and then you'll, wel you'll welcome yourself into this wonderful world of Lydia's Kitchen. So a couple of things I wanted to share with you. First of all, I don't know if you know, but you've got a front row seat to Movie Mall here at HSN. It's the newest way to watch free movies and shop great finds on HSN+. Plus. So I say get that popcorn poppin' for a movie night because you can really watch so many cool things like this lighthearted flick is called Love at the Lodge. You can join Emma, she's an ambitious attorney. She finds herself stranded at a remote company retreat falling for the lodge's carefree owner. Love that kind of story. And then you can shop the finds inspired by the film. You can discover some new favorite things and there's so much more that you're gonna find on HSN Plus. So check it out sometime and stream free with us. When we come back, we're gonna be talking about, we've got the four pasta bowls available. We do have that awesome Dutch oven with the lid coming up with this amazing chef, Lydia, right after this. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1 800 284 3900. Ingredients that are rich in tradition, born from the clouds and foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Clean beauty that protects, nourishes, and repairs hair and skin. Shop the Tweaked by Nature Beauty Collection on HSN and HSN.com. Hi, it's Marlo Thomas with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. HSN has been a partner in our St. Jude Thanks and Giving campaign since 2005. And with your help, they've raised more than $16.1 million. Your donations allow us to keep our promise that families never receive a bill from St. Jude for treatment, travel, housing, or food so they can focus on helping their child live. Please visit hsn.com, search for HSN Cares, or scan the QR code to donate. Discover the best ways to eat, drink, and be merry. Lydia's here. It's so nice to have you. My pleasure. My goodness sakes. We are here to talk about the pasta bowls. I mean, pasta, ice cream, salads, soup. You got soup, it. Soup. You know it. Everything. Cereal in the morning. Mm -hmm. You can use it for anything. It's colorful. Aren't it's they beautiful? beautiful. And it's Lydia. And it's Lydia. Oh, I love what you tell us here. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and everything you can use it for. That is super cool. The dessert. Look at what you... Yeah, you made this for us earlier. Yes. Putting your... Look at that gorgeous salad. Look at that gorgeous salad. And you see that you can present it, uh, this put in the middle of the table with a, a serving spoon and they can just help, help themselves. themselves. Absolutely. I or like that. Plate individual. Or, uh, well, I mean, yeah, who doesn't love spaghetti and meatballs? <laughs> and I have some, some meatballs right here Yum. for you. One here. Yum. One here. Yum and yum. Uh, I know yum, yum. Here. <laughs> Here. Oh, I can't wait to try right. this. You Thank keep you. it busy while I, while I plate this out. <laughs> we'll put some sauce. So usually that's, you know what I do? Uh, I 
Mm. Serve the pasta. You can do it in a big bowl or individually. Mm. And then the meatball and the sauce separately, and I just top it all so it, I don't mix it all together. So that's a beautiful presentation of spaghetti and meatball. And then, you know you know what we eat at, at my house? So this is the cover that I'm talking about. Yes, that's the cover. You can see right through, use mm -hmm. it for many things. Mm -hmm. And sauerkraut. You know, oh we, I come from northeast uh, uh, Italy. Italy, on the border of now it's Croatia, Slovenia, Austria, and whatever. Ooh, and we do, we do a lot of uh, kind of mixed culture food. And sauerkraut is one of especially winter, and we cook it with a lot of, look at this, beautiful pieces of pork. My gosh. And this is so easy because you can make it, and I'm gonna cut it for you right here, so that the klebasa, you like klebasa? Mm, I do, actually. Okay, you're Norwegian, right? I am Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it, yeah, there it is. Okay. I am, by the way, we only have a thousand of these uh, bowls left. You're getting a set of four, and they are about eight and a half inches in diameter. And I like the depth of these. They aren't super deep, which makes them so much better for like just presentation, I think. Uh, for presentation. And also, you know, uh, uh, you don't know, you don't over uh, uh, portion situation. Good People point. can have seconds. You know, if you put it like this in pots on the table, people could have seconds yep. and, uh, and uh, ab absolutely the size. And you know what's, what's very nice? So that they're kind of a little open. So yeah. salads look nice in there, yeah. dessert look nice in there. And look at this, does this look it delicious? It looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm having the best time. All right. I'm gonna just take so one look, little bite and of that. And you know, in, in, the, in the back, mm. Uh, I thought we, we add a little bit of a Lydia touch here. Isn't that sweet? Eh? Welcome to a seat at Lydia's table. Right. In Lydia's kitchen. And as mm. I say at the end of all my shows, tutti a tavola a mangiare, mm -hmm. everybody to the table. So when these plates end up on the table, everybody just zoom. It, sit, sit down and eat. <laughs> mm. These are zooming out of here. Okay. So get the bowls, um, eight, four, three, six, seven, five. Excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth full now. Let's talk a little bit about this cookbook. I'm curious if you have any like special tips on making a great pasta sauce. And there's oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's Lydia. That, that's all she does. And I'm gonna it's see so simple to make. You know, pasta. Anything you have in the refrigerator, you take one of those skillets, my mm. skillets, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of oil. You have broccoli, you have uh, cauliflower, you have bacon. Sauté it a little bit. Put your pasta in the pasta cooking water with some salt, and use some of that pasta water to make the sauce. So appetizers, salads, soups, vegetables and sides, pasta, polenta, crispelle, and risotto. I love risotto. You do? Mm, uh, that's love a it. technique, and I have it all in here. It takes a while. Yes, well, no, 18 minutes. Okay. 18 minutes, if you're all ready. Fish and self shellfish, peat, meat and poultry. Meat, Meat and, and poultry. poultry. <laughs> <laughs> and desserts. Yes, yes, it's cat, so good. Cat, cat tongue cookies. Oh, the cat tongue, you yeah. know, the, the little thin, yeah. crunch, crumbly cookies, uh -huh. the cat's tongue. That's so yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah, they're used for a lot. So yeah, simple, straightforward recipes. What's St. Joseph's Zepole? Zepole di San Giuseppe. Zepole. It's uh, fried dough, and then it has a custard in there. San Giuseppe is in a March, and it is, it is Father's Day in Italy. And oh. that's the dessert that's made. Oh, oh, neat. It's simple. Look at this delicious stewed eggplant and peppers. The pictures are gorgeous. Rosemary chickpeas. Look at this. What's that one? Vegetables. We get, you know, a lot of people are into vegetables, and I love cooking with vegetables. That's just roasted mixed vegetables. Ooh. Smashed <gasps> potatoes with rosemary. Oh, simple, nice. easy. Nice. You boil the potatoes first in the uh -huh. skin. You smash them. Uh -huh. And then you put salt, oil, and a little bit of uh, pepper and rosemary and back mm. in the oven. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Ooh, look at you that one. You know what this is? <gasps> spaghetti squash. This is spaghetti squash. Looks like spaghetti. It does. But it's the vegetable, the spaghetti yes. squash. You bake it, you cut it in half, roast it, you scrape out the, 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 sp the mm. spaghetti squash, and you dress it with a tomato sauce. I, just I like make it quite a bit. I, I'm very much liking your recipe. Fava beans with mint. By the way, sorry to just jump into the recipes because there are so many that make your mouth just water. There's only 1,500 left. We sell, these go so fast. I mean, 
It's Lydia. And all your family favorites. And I mean, you were sharing some special, even the pictures of your family and your history. I saw something. Well, because, you know, uh, food is in a context. It's in a culture. It's in a home. So uh, you Aww. need to share. It's not just invented by me. That's my mother and my two kids when they were small. So I Aww. share. I share the whole, the history they get to know. But, you know, as I said, uh, uh, I, I'm on television, in the restaurant business, 50 years, in television, 25 years. So I get to know you guys out there. I know I know a lot of you guys out there. And uh, I know you want to know. And the book is in response to the question that you asked. Lydia, I love what that. are your favorite recipes, the recipes that you cooked at home? So this, this is the book. This is fregola and clams. You know, fregola mm. is like a couscous, a, a, yeah. big, a bigger couscous. Okay. It's easy and it acts like pasta. Ooh, look at that beautiful display. Mm. Great ideas here and so many, oh, this looks delicious. Oh, the asparagus. So, so simple with the mustard and egg sauce and just steamed. A little bit of lemon in there. Well, this is a hot commodity with the over, look at it, it's a gorgeous hard-sided book, whether it's a coffee table book or keep it right there in your front, you know front and center. They're all signed. I signed every yeah. single one of them. <laughs> it's taken a minute. It took some time, but I did it. <laughs> you did it, and that makes it even more special. Thank you for your calls and orders. I, like I said, these are always very popular, so they're just back in stock for the holidays. This is our last day with you for the year. I know you've got a show later tonight at 6. Tonight at 6, I'm on again. And then that's it, right, for the year? Exactly. It's crunch time. We're, we're looking at Christmas right around the corner. This all makes such great Christmas presents. I know. You give them a nice pot with a book in there. There you go. And you know what you do? You put a little sticker to the recipe that you want your whoever you give it to, to cook to for you. To make for you. <laughs> you know who I feel, feel like this would be super great for is if you have a son and they just got married, and just, who just got married, like I, to the daughter-in-law. I get a lot of that. Lydia, yeah. what should I do? So the basic pots, I tell them, the, the skillet, uh, the Dutch oven, and uh, uh, the, the, uh, here they can cook the pasta, in the skillet they can make the sauce, and, uh, and, and then of course, the book. And if they want the baker, absolutely to I, bake things. Just giving them the, the tools to be able to succeed in the kitchen. Absolutely. Because it's very stressful, if, especially if you're just starting out. And I love that none of your recipes take like a whole day. There's not a lot of complicated details. No, no. It's all about the good you know, flavors. Some of, them, some of them do. Some soups, some I mean, to take a while. But if you follow step by step, but most of them are quite doable and I'm very conscious. Love that. By the way, oh, your tea kettle is super, super cool. It's a five cup electric tea kettle. This is I love super it. beautiful. I, I love, love it. it too. You know, I, uh, it's, let's see, there's, look at this. Yeah, I love that filter on the inside. This but attaches. You know what I, do? I make a regular tea. You can put loose tea in there, mm -hmm. beautiful, whatever you'd like. You can put fresh herbs. I put fresh herbs, mint, oregano, bay leaves, right in this little thing, and I put it in, and I let it steep and you get a nice, a nice uh, uh, tea. What also, a gorgeous kettle. Also, you know what's, 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 what's good? is spice. Like if you put fen, uh, fennel seeds. So you put cardamom. The, I love and, uh, that. You put it in this little thing and you let it steep. See how this works? This. It attaches right here on the inside of the lid. This insert screws into there after you fill it up with whatever you'd like. And that way you can steep your tea by just putting the lid right on. And this is brilliant, the way this heats this kettle so fast. And when you're cooking, sometimes you, you know, you need your hot water ready there. Instead of having True. You have all your, your stove occupied, in here, this gives you boiling water. You have it forever, brilliant. whatever you need. Very, very good. Stock only... also. Stock, yes, I love that idea too. Uh, there's about 500 of these left, so if you want it, please don't wait. That's very few. We reach a lot of homes. Um, the item for you to get your beautiful kettle is 842203. As we share, too, we've got the four piece cup and saucer set. Ah, and you, did you notice that this is a little bit off center? Yeah. yeah. So I put the cup so the cup stays steady. Oh, that is super cool. And then you can put your two cookies, a little lemon or whatever. So you have room for, to add whatever else you like here. And, uh, you know, I think it's it's a nice size cup. Sometimes the cups are too big, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But this is a nice uh, cup. You can use it for coffee. You can use it for tea. How brilliant is that to just have it a little offset in the saucer so you can put little 
a little treat. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. So you're getting two of the cups, two of the saucers at only $24.95. These are brand new. Yes, yes, and I'm excited about them. I think that's great. And the, sup, the cup size is about three by three inches. So it's, it is smaller and I do like that, especially for tea. So yeah. it keeps it hot. Exactly, this is keeps it warm. So you can go back for more. And then, do you see when you're sipping, there's a little poppy on one side. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Yeah, yeah, I, I need this. But, but look, at, look at the design here too. I just love it. It matches this. You can, can imagine if you put it on the table, people are gonna say, wow. Uh-huh, yes. did you go to Italy? Yes. I, those, those places are so amazing. Those, the, I think that's what they call them, is the pottery stores that you're the ceramica, factories. Ceramiche, ceramiche, ceramic. ceramic, ceramic. 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 Ceramic in Italian. <laughs> okay. Finally got, got it. So tell us what you say at the end of your show again. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. That's it. I love and it. I, I want to I share with you all of this. These are all from the book. Look at this delicious no recipe. No kidding. Stuffed oh. peppers, too, is a, oh. uh, a popular one at our house. Do you put rice in there? Sometimes I sometimes? put rice, okay. sometimes I put bread. Oh. Depends, you know, okay. like all bread, recycle thing, use things. You got it, yeah. good point. And again, you, this, this is great because it reheats well, but you put it in the oven, you stuff it in whatever, and then you put it in the oven, you cover it, and you let it kind of bake. Mm. And then bring it to the table nice and warm, just like that. And here I have some goulash. For, this is another Ooh. recipe. This is another recipe from, from the book. You like oh, goulash? I do you, like goulash. You know, that's, that's almost Hungarian, you will I, say. Yeah. But you see, the, the Friuli Venezia Giulia, the area that we come from northeast, was under the Austrian Hungarians. So, you know, I make strudel, I make. Mm. Uh, do you know? I cooked for Pope Benedict and I cooked for Pope Francis when they came to America, for both of Are them. Are you serious? No. <laughs> so, were but, you nervous? No. Well, initially, yeah. Because okay. you know, but then once you get in, because you know they don't go out and eat; they stay in the in the uh, uh, sort of oh my gosh. The Vatican yeah. uh, mission, and that's where I went to cook. So Pope Benedict is kind of Hungarian, uh, German, and whatever. Okay. I made goulash for him. No kidding. That's what reminded me. This is look at this. That no, that looks absolutely amazing. I need. Please don't remove this from the kitchen until my show is over. <laughs> I would like a bite of that. And um, may I remind everybody about a couple of things. Of course, this is how we started the show with this beautiful baker, this beautiful piece that comes with a lid and or a serving tray and or a trivet to put your baker onto the table with your finished uh, meal. And this is one of the recipes that we just talked about. The crashed potatoes, yeah. the mashed potatoes. Yeah. By the way, another thing we have going before we move into the Dutch oven is a big sale with Andrew Lessman supplements. These are all natural, additive free. I just had a big order arrive at my home yesterday uh, from just last weekend's uh, visit. But he's got every supplement and they are the best quality supplements you can find anywhere. So check it out. I mean, we've got it all. Everything he does all year long, except special prices as we lead into the holidays. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move, oh yeah, it's bubbling up. It's, it's a bubbling, bubbling up. So we're gonna make our way back over to that uh, table so we can talk about the Dutch oven. All right, okay. let's do it. This is my favorite piece of the entire show. <laughs> Absolutely amazing piece that you can do so much in, from soups and stews, to braising your pork chops, to making them super tender and mouth-watering. Cooking pasta, so here is the, 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 the goulash that you saw finished oh, there. Oh, great. You see, you have to brown nice first the, the meat and once it's browned, let's get it all out. Go ahead, you can tell them about it. Okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fish this out. It is a five quart diet, by the way. We do have the same fabulous colors, the classics from Lydia's Kitchen, the bright red, the cobalt blue, and the black. And what I think is brilliant about this piece, not only is it cast iron and nonstick and lighter cast iron, as I mentioned with the uh, skillet earlier, look at that domed lid. So it's a glass lid, which I love because you can see what's going on inside. You don't have to release all the flavors just because you want to maybe take a peek. You can see if it's time to do it a stir or not. Exactly. But isn't that just a magnificent piece? Gorgeous, not to mention totally functional. All uh, right, absolutely. So now I'm going on the same pan. The flavors are there of the meat, uh, onions, and 
I'll, you know, and here for the sake of time, we'll move on fast. But carrots, let's get that in there. And later we'll put some potatoes. You brown all of this, some salt, and some paprika. 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 Now you can get mild paprika, spicy paprika, or smoked paprika, whatever you'd like. I have yeah. Hungarian paprika in my pantry. I don't know what the difference is, but I have it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they use their pap paprika, uh, but you could have it sweet, piquant, uh, or smoky. Okay. Even in Hungary, they have that. Do they? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> bay leaves, my favorite. Is it? Throw, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love throwing the bay leaves. Okay, and some tomato paste. Mm. Okay, and you let, I usually make a little kind of spot in the middle. I call so it a hot melts. spot. Mm -hmm. No, no, so, so it gets caramelized, so that, ah. the, that the, it gets extra flavor from being kind of heated up and cooked. All right, and we get that caramelized, and then we add wine. Uh, it's a wine. And stuck, and mind you, I'm moving on fast because, <laughs> right, right. because we have to stock. And you bring this to a boil. When you bring all of this to a boil, you put the meat back in and... And then let it simmer for a while. And you let it simmer. And this will take, depends on the meat that you choose, but usually it'll take about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. Nice. And you can add some stock, you can add some, 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 some water and whatever. And here we have the polenta, which we'll do. But I want to show you, let's see, is this, I want to show you how to make mussels. One, two, three in, 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 in this. Just to give you this a heads up here, the red me. is yeah. extremely popular in this presentation. So if you are interested in this color, don't wait. Again, these Black Friday deal prices and these sale prices are for holiday and holiday only. When we return for the new year, it's going to be back to the $79.95. I would definitely recommend getting this and that 10-inch skillet, though, because those are the two workhorse pieces in your kitchen. I think everybody will use every single day for, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But yeah, oh, look I at how it beautiful it is with that. I guess mm -hmm. I love the glass domed lid, Lydia, that you can see what's going on in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Uh, that's the goulash that's <coughs> moving along. Uh, this is, uh, you can see it, and you see uh, there is an insulation here, so oh. the heat doesn't climb up Good. to the handle. So you can handle, uh, use the handle Excellent. freely. Excellent feature So here to have. I have, I'm doing the muscles. The muscles don't take, take uh, a short time, and they're By very the simple. Quick onion. question on the goulash, back to the goulash. Do you like to do it low and slow and like simmer slow? Oh, or absolutely. Or do you like to get it nice and hot? Uh, well, you get Boil the meat. Then... The meat you get caramelized nice and hot. You okay. have a little flour and then, then you take that out. And then the vegetables you caramelize nice and nice. You caramelize and slowly, step by step. Each thing that you add, you let it caramelize. You know, as I said, I moved uh, quickly because, but absolutely uh, slowly. Then you bring it back to boil. Okay. And then you add the meat back to boil and then you lower it and you let it simmer because that's what stewing or braising is all about. That low, slow process. Okay. Mm. okay. Mouth but watering. You, this, this pan also great, you know, for, for cooking pasta. So you have the skillet that we had before, you make the sauce, or you have the sauce here and you make polenta. I have polenta here. So let's... Five quart is such a great size. You know, a five quart, I think it's just a Absolutely. really good size. I mean, you can eight, even 10 people out of it, but six to eight comfortable. So you like polenta? I do. Okay. This is polenta. You know, we come from where we come from, we are known as polentoni. We eat a lot of polenta. Polentoni? Polentoni. I polenta love it. eaters. Like the Tuscans are called mangia fagioli. You know, uh, uh, beans eater. Beans, okay. beans, beans eater. So, I have that, I'm gonna throw some scallions. I love scallions. And if you notice, you know, all of this is not expensive stuff. I know, I love that. You know, you know, I'm very conscious about it. You know, everybody's kind of, and you get kind of that, uh, that's it, mix, help me, help me mix. <laughs> I'm happy to. Okay, and I'm gonna put some bay leaves, some thyme in here, just like that. Okay, and I am going to throw in the mussels now. Okay. So the mussels are, are, 
uh, just washed, clean. Now you can get them. They usually come clean. They used to come with a beard, but now they... So, Thankfully. give me your this... hand. Do you feel the weight of it? This is how you can tell if the muscle is full or not. No kidding. So when you're buying it, yeah. Okay, I can tell it's full. There you go. Yeah. All right. You learn, it, you learn something. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love learning and trying new things. Okay, so oh let, me, let, me, let me do this. Yeah, that's yeah. a mix the polenta, check on the goulash. I'm gonna get you cooked here. Yum. I don't know if they want you to sell this, but you're cooking with me. I love this. <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a combination that is huh? that's the best method. So getting in the kitchen together and cooking together. All the onions and everything is in there. I'm gonna some wine. Okay. Do I have a little breadcrumbs? The, the scallion, the tops of the scallion, I don't throw anything away. I first threw the... I like that idea. Okay. Let's see, I'm looking at mm. this. And then do you just wait until they open up? They open up very quickly, mm -hmm. seal it, and that's it. So let's, I want to give you a little, a little mangiare, a little polenta here. I accept. Thank you guys so much. This is like the last day of the year to have Lydia with us and she'll be back for one show tonight at six. I just don't want you to count on everything being available that we've had today because people love Lydia. You know, you've been watching her for maybe the 25 years you've been on uh, with your show. I mean, you've just really, I just love how you help us learn how to cook without being crazy over the top, complicated or expensive. It's just good home style cooking. You see, two big pots, you have dinner for eight people. Easy. Exactly. Even 10. And whenever I plate, I take first mm. the, like the meats and all okay. of that. I don't grab the, 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 the sauce right away, you see? Okay. So I get as much as I, I want in the vegetables. And let me. I'm really hoping that's for me. That's all for you. <laughs> Good. That's all for you. Look how beautiful you it is. You know looks. what I think my favorite food is? Sauce. Like <laughs> Let's see. Do, do you have a fork? Um, I do. I, I have oh, a. Thank you. I have a fork for you. That's beautiful. Thank you so okay. much. So, what is the base? I mean, this is one of the recipes in the cookbook. So you can make this goulash too. Um, but the base is it, like tomato. The tomato paste. You tomato know. paste. That's what did it. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely delicious. Okay. So good. And just so simply seasoned. Mm. And you know, I'll this reheats. Way. No, no, stay there. This reheats. Reheats. Uh, you can make it a day or two. You can mm. freeze it. Mm. No problem. It reheats. Uh, comfort it. food right there. Yeah. Really good. So these are the five quart Dutch ovens. The Dutch oven, I mean, obviously you don't need to use it with the lid. This is what Chuck makes it into that Dutch something. oven to kind of create your own little little cooking zone. But it's an absolutely beautiful piece. The red, as I said, big, big seller this hour. This is the nonstick cast iron. The nonstick that is almost 30% lighter than traditional cast iron. That's one of your focus points on putting your cookware collection with us because I think we all get to the point where it's like, I can't lift that cast iron. I don't know how my grandmother did it for all the years that she did, but you know, no wonder she had arthritis at the end. You know, it's, it's hard to lift heavy things. Uh, you, your uh, wrist, you have to be careful, especially yeah. being a professional, uh, your wrist is really, uh, you have to watch. So, uh, and you know, you don't have to season it. You don't have to season this cast exactly. iron. You just clean it, wash it. The outside, the enamel washes mm. one, two, three. The inside, mm. and you put it away until next use. No problem. You can store things in it. Uh, you know, let's say that uh, somebody's gonna come tomorrow. You cook this today. You don't have to switch it. You can store it, let it cool. Put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge as is. Pull it out, put it right back on top of the stove and you got your meal Sometimes done. it's better the second day, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes the flavors soups just and all of that, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So I am looking at my, mm. at my. That is a huge bay leaf right there. Yeah, but it, you smell it? Mm -hmm, I do. Okay, so the bay leaves, uh, they give you a lot of 
uh, uh, flavor. Do you have some oil? Yes. We've only got 30 seconds because this show has come to an end. It is too much fun cooking wait, with wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. I have to pour this for you just like that. Oh, Look into at this. that gorgeous. That's such a reach. Sorry, here, I'll hold that table. Hold the table. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. My friend Alice would love this. Huh? Alice is a huge clam lover, so. Thank you so much, guys, for your calls and your orders on everything from Lydia's Kitchen. Please continue ordering the Dutch oven. If you're gonna just get one or two things, I recommend the Dutch oven and that 10-inch cast iron skillet. And you are just absolutely lovely. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Tracy, thank you. See for you your later. Ex excellent help. Yes, we'll be back with you tonight at 6 p.m. I will see you tomorrow morning with my best friend Alice at 10 a.m. for our Saturday morning show. Um, we continue, though, 